Joanne. Would you stop pacing? You're making me nervous. And when I get nervous, I perspire, and I don't want to be all sweaty. What if our scheme goes up in smoke? What if we don't get the goods to bring Teresa down? She's, she's like a cat with all of her lives, bouncing back each time, ever stronger from whatever's thrown her way. You saw her prepping for that obscene TV interview earlier. Oh, I hope they send Matt Lauer. Then I can tell him how much I like his haircut. It's so sexy and kind of prickly looking. But it who focus, Becky? Focus. <laughs> Teresa acts like she doesn't have a care in the world. Well, she's faking it. She doesn't want us to see how, how threatened she feels. Then again, maybe she knows something we don't. What if she weathers this crisis the way she's weathered all the others? And if Alice decides with her, it's curtains for us. We'll be out in the cold. We'll have no place to sleep but the shelter. Oh, Julian, you can't let that happen. I don't want to be poor. And Teresa's risen from her coffin for crying out loud. Who's to say she won't come up with another Houdini-like trick to survive this onslaught, too? Julian, you've got to stop talking like that. Look, we paid good money to Tom Joyner to get the dirt on Teresa so we can unseat her as your wife. I don't know. She's way too confident for my taste. Even if we prevail in the end, she's already given away a fortune in Crane money, and she's about to give away more on national tele... Ah! Oh! God! I thought only people who work for a living got ulcers. Oh! Pookie, look, you have got to stop this. Look, we paid for the dirt on Teresa, so by this time tomorrow, she is going to be long gone. I hope you're right, but the clock is ticking, Becky. Where's the evidence we paid all that good money to get? It's way. You'll see. It's no use. Oh. oh. What? Even if I did another chorus of... I got you, babe? Not even. Too worried about this thing with Teresa. I... She ruins everything. And this is not the first time that that little tramp has affected little Julian's performance. And I am not talking about your singing. She's undermined my entire life. <sighs> oh. oh, wait, wait, your private line. I'll get it. Okay. Rebecca Hotchkiss. Oh, oh that's marvelous. We're in the library. <laughs> it's here. The proof we need is here. Finally. <laughs> We've got her. Babe. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. You'll be here any second. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, coming. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's been a while. I've not seen you since my ill-fated trip to the islands, the one that ruined my life. Hello, Bruce. What have you done to your hair? Never mind that. The question is, can you deliver what you say you can? Oh, you bet, old pal. That and more. <laughs> much, much more. What? Capacity <laughs> is amazing. Oh! Do you see how serious this is? That woman is trying to systematically give away every penny the Crane family's ever made. You mean stolen? Well, what's the difference? I have to get rid of her before she, she breaks me. My entire life is riding on what you know. Just tell me it's for real. Oh, it is indeed, Julian. Every last bit of it. God, how could you betray me like this? Well, I'm sorry, old pal. I, I never thought things would get quite so far out of hand. But I'm here... Now, to make up for it, when I tell you what I've got, you will be free of Teresa forever. <laughs>